Welcome, my name is Dr. Jason W. Morrison and I'm a theologist from New South Wales, Australia. Psychologists help people with themselves and other people and theologists help people with themselves and God. Galatians 6 and verse 4 But let each one examine his own work and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. For each one shall bear his own load. And I just want to remind you that Jesus said in Matthew eleven, twenty eight through thirty, that his burden is easy and his yoke is light. But here where it says let each one examine his own work, the context of this again is what do you think you need to do or not do to make God happy or stop him from being sad, which is a mindset that empowers sin or are you content with the finished work of Christ and he goes on to, and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another you see what Paul's saying is the legalists were rejoicing or giving themselves some kind of sense of satisfaction through producing other legalists who would then be failing in the things of Christ but if you're content in the fin finished work of Christ and you're getting on with your life and the Spirit of God will be following you, then you have reason to rejoice in yourself. And it's very difficult to explain, but that kind of freedom is, is really empowering for life because you're not letting anything hold you back. And then it says, For each one shall bear his own load, but Jesus bears our load. Now, verse 6 of Galatians chapter 6, let him who is taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Now remember, Paul here is making sure that the people that are teaching the word and have, and are, and have been taught the word are teaching the finished work of Christ to the exclusion of this thing that makes us believe that anything we think we need to do or not do to make God happy or stop him from being sad is going to contribute to our Christianity. The only thing that, that is going to contribute to your Christianity is evil. And he backs this up by saying, in verse 7, Do not be deceived. And everybody knows this verse, but get it in its context. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. And this scripture can be used in very nasty ways. But verse 8 now explains why God is not mocked and do not be deceived for whatever a man sows that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will also reap corruption. Now what's sowing to the flesh? Anything you think you need to do or not do to make God happy or stop him from being sad is sowing to the flesh. It's legalism. What is your legalism? Because it's only going to reap corruption. It can't reap anything else. But he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Well, why will you reap everlasting life? Why all of a sudden is the flesh leading to corruption and the Spirit leading to everlasting life? Well, it's not all of a sudden. It's been the whole context of Galatians. Any th living under the flesh, anything you think you need to do or not do to make God happy or stop him from being sad, which is a law, will lead to corruption. It will reap corruption because that's all that legalism can do. But he who sows to the Spirit, he who is getting on with their life, content with Christ's finished work for everything to be resolved between them and God and not zooing around as it were trying to find out if they're right with God or not will reap everlasting life it's bizarre isn't it it's so simple when you get it in its right context and let us not grow weary while doing good for in due season we will reap if we do not lose heart and what does that mean be content in the finished work of Christ Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all. Share the message of the finished work of Christ, especially to those who are of the household of faith. Verse 11, and we'll, oh, 
Okay, I'll finish with verse 11. See with what large letters I have written to you with my own hand. And then we'll go on to verse 12 in the next talk. Thanks for listening and bye for now. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. Watch it on YouTube. Please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. Watch it on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one of life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.